When a patient is sleeping, the air moves in and out slowly past the hanging soft palate and uvula and through the vocal cords. Obstruction of the nasal airway, such as a deviated septum, allergic swelling of the turbinates, or a chronic sinus inflammation can create rapid and turbulent airflow. This rapid airflow creates a suction current vibrating and stretching the soft palate and uvula. The suction current also pulls the tongue back into the airway. These forces create sleep apnea as the negative pressure pulls the tongue back, obstructing the airway. If the patient has an open mouth position secondary to nasal congestion, this position further accentuates the obstruction by allowing the mobile jaw and tongue to fall back into the airway. Mouth breathing also dehydrates the tongue, which results in progressive enlargement of the tongue, increasing the chance of sleep apnea. After Dr. Slaughter performs the advanced balloon sinuplasty procedure, the forces that create vibration, snoring, and sleep apnea are reduced, and the patient can typically sleep with a closed mouth. In some cases, the addition of an oral appliance may also be needed to assist in holding the mouth closed and moving the jaw slightly forward to shift an oversized tongue away from the back of the throat. Alternatively, a nasal pillow CPAP can be used to push the tongue forward to reduce snoring and sleep apnea. If you're looking for an option without the need for nightly equipment, a nerve stimulator can be implanted to move the tongue forward and open the airway while sleeping.